Hello, this is Isaac Angel and welcome to my channel. You are watching Where RV Going? And today I would like to show you a simple DIY project that will help me change my dinette color. So stay tuned and let's see how it goes. Hello again. So today I would like to show you what I'm going to do with my dinette. Um, the table, to my taste, is a little too dark. My RV comes with this earthy tones like browns and beige and some walnut. And for some reason they chose the darkest color to apply on the table. And makes uh, the whole dinette area a little smaller than really how it is. Um, so today I wanted to use some contact paper and utilize this uh, beautiful uh, pattern and color on my table. So I've seen a lot of other RV owners and home improvement videos um, and I just wanted to try it in the RV. I'm not sure how this is going to work but just join me for the process. Um, worst case scenario, these contact papers are completely removable with no damage or residue left behind. The, this one is a DC fix. I'll put a link for it in the descriptions below. Hopefully it will work and um, it will make my dinette look a lot better and a lot brighter. So let's start. So for this project you need scissors a box cutter and uh, a simple ID or just a credit card that would do it so what I like about this contact paper the back of it comes with all these markers and measuring uh, lines and grid lines so here it is I just uh, cut two pieces as you can see the previous color is just like too dark for my taste and um, so I cut two pieces and all I have to do is basically line them up properly and then um, as I said peel the paper and stick it together but what do you guys think please let me know in the comments do you think that this color is um, too bright or it doesn't match the overall looks of the RV I, I actually find it very modern and very uh, cool I think it brings warmth so I'm just gonna I think start from this side, remove this for the time being, I guess I'll just have to, yeah you just have to leave a little bit of uh, extra on the ledge, on each side, in the back, the sides, the front, and all I'm going to do is just peel it back. Uh, by the way, before you do any uh, gluing or any sticking of this, make sure that you properly clean the table or the surface that you are going to be applying this uh, on, because it needs to have proper and clean surface to stick on. So I've already done that. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Okay. Let's start and with a ID or a credit card all you have to do is just uh, smoothly apply the contact paper so there's no bubbles at all and everything is properly stick on. first half is finished 
Now I'm gonna do the ledges, the corners. In order to do that, cut a corner right here, a straight line right here, and another straight line right here, and remove this part. And that way I can make a very nice, sharp, good looking corner. But it looks great. I love the texture. I love the color. So, let me know. What do you think? Alright, so let me tell you, the corners is a pain, like really. Um, I've seen a lot of people that use uh, a hair dryer or a heat gun to kind of warm the paper up and then it can actually stretch out and stick better. I managed, it's okay for me, I just have this piece left to uh, apply to the second half of the table and I'll be done. And honestly speaking, it's fine. I mean, it, I'm not damaging the original uh, table at all. If I, if I don't like it, I can peel it off and next thing you know, I have the old table back. But right now, this is more than uh, enough for me, the way it looks. There's some imperfections here and there, but that's fine. I mean, as I said, it's fine for me. It adds color, it adds warmth to the cabin, and it ties with the cabinet colors and the, all the rest of the... Uh, all the wardrobes and closets and pantry it definitely ties together instead of having that dark mocha color I'd rather have this uh, beautiful uh, wood so I'm happy let's continue with the work all right so what I'm gonna do is overlap the existing contact paper by a little bit because otherwise, if I try to align it perfectly in the middle with time, that piece might just elevate and gets worst. So I'm just gonna overlap it just a little bit. And that should be fine. So there it is guys, nice, no? I think this color is definitely more uh, suiting and complementing the rest of the cabin with all the walnut and light beige rather than that really dark uh, mocha color. I think this is far better and I really love the texture. It definitely looks like a, a butcher's block. Um, I think it looks good. What do you think? Just let me know in the comment. Hope you liked this video. There was not much of it except me struggling with this uh, stick-on contact paper. But other than that, if you are interested in this particular brand, I have it in the descriptions below. So if you like this video, please like and comment. Definitely, I answer all comments. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and click on that little bell so you can be notified every time I post any video. So until the next time, thank you for watching and see you on the road.